Welcome to Hammer TV, everybody. Today we're going to talk about refinery and chemical plant accidents and injuries. Chemical plant explosions can have devastating results. Today we're going to talk about preventing refinery and chemical plant explosions and things of that nature. So can you lead us off and tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, Bill, let me just tell you something. Uh, these refineries and chemical plants, they can be dangerous places to work for the workers that are there. The, the gasoline refineries, the crude oil coming in, the chemical plants, what have you, the, the plastics plants, the polybutylene plants, all of the different activities that are going on in these refineries. It's been shown in popular mechanics that many refinery explosions occur during or after spring maintenance. That's right. So most refineries will shut down for part of the year, and that's when the maintenance is performed. And when the plant is ready to transition or turn around to refine gasoline for the coming season, all the equipment is turned back on. That's when accidents can happen. Because, you know why? Why is that? Because there's an extensive checklist of some 30,000 different procedures that have to be followed exactly. To a T. Exactly, and you know, guess what happens if not every one of those 30,000 items is done properly? A large, large explosion like we've had recently here in Houston. Yeah. It seems like in 2019, it's just been terrible with all nice. these different explosions. There was just one here in Houston about a month ago mm -hmm. where a plant blew up, just out of the blue for no reason. Uh, injured, killed three people, destroyed a whole neighborhood, just terrible. During the transition period is the time when all the workers are called back to the plant and that's why the number of seriously injured or sadly deceased people can sometimes be so high. That's right. And the key, do you want to hear about the key to good refinery safety? Sure, tell me a little bit about that. Okay. The key to good refinery safety is to make sure that all those 30,000 checklist items are followed to the T. Because if you don't follow every procedure and prevent refinery explosions, you've got to be on top of that and keep a close eye on routine maintenance throughout the plant. One missed maintenance assignment could mean that a tragedy can occur and that a problem goes unsolved and can devastate families and wives and children of refinery workers That's true. who are Certainly injured the case. and husbands. Mm -hmm. And it's just sad. Jim, why don't you tell us a little bit about liability issues and an oil refinery explosion, what those liability issues are? Well, the thing about it is there's a lot of, there's the owner of the refinery who has responsibility there's all the contractors that have responsibility. There's all kind of workers, pipe fitters, welders, different crew members, different construction companies working out there. And at some point, it just becomes a massive buck passing contest where everybody's saying everybody else has liability and everybody's trying to say that the other person is at fault. Let's discuss third party cases in the big case versus the little case. Can you tell us a little bit about the big case and the little case? Well, sure, I'm glad you asked because it's kind of tricky and people it don't understand the difference between the little case, which is your workers' compensation case. So if you're hurt <laughs> on the job, you'll have a right to make a claim against the insurance company for your employer, the workers' compensation carrier. And you're gonna get medical benefits and you're gonna get limited weekly checks and then you may get lifetime medical benefits. The big case is gonna be your third party liability case against the person who's not your employer who caused the explosion to occur or caused you to get injured. So you got your little case, the, your workers' compensation case. Your big case is going to be your explosion case where you recover your lifetime loss wages, your medical bills for your burns, burn injuries. You're not going to be able to work again sometimes, so you're going to have diminished earning capacity. 
you're going to go from making $20 or $30 an hour to making minimum wage, and you're entitled to recover the differential, your lifetime pain and suffering, your mental anguish, all these elements, the 30 elements of damages that are not covered in a worker's compensation case are your big money damages in a third party case, okay? Here's another thing about refineries that people should know. Refineries, chemical plants, um, oil and gas processing plants, plastic plants, fertilizer plants. Every day, people are injured in these huge industrial facilities. It may not be an explosion. It can be some kind of other injury a back injury, a leg injury, any kind of injury. So if you're hurt on the job, you may have a third party case if you were working at a refinery or a chemical plant or any kind of industrial facility. And these tend to be very serious injuries and you can be compensated for these. That's right. So if you've been involved in a refinery explosion, you need help with your damages. You need help with your case, locking down who truly the responsible party is. Call Jim Adler Associates. We can help you out with that case. The best number to call us at is 800-567-7575. Also, we have a lot of information that you can review on the web if you have any questions or concerns. The name of the website is www.jimadler.com. We're here to help you and your family members. Everybody, thank you for watching Hammer TV. Leave us your comments, your questions, and tell us about future topics you'd like for us to discuss on this show. We would really appreciate it. Thank you.